Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to copy files of different file format in Azure Data Factory. If you are new to our channel, hit subscribe. Let me show what we have covered in our last videos. Under our channel CloudTech Academy, navigate to playlist and under playlist just navigate to Azure Data Factory playlist. We have uploaded several videos and among this we have seen file path in the data set, wildcard, copying list of files. So these are a related concept. What we did is we have shown how to copy files from one container into the another container. In all these video, we have dealed only with Excel and CSV file format. One of our subscriber have question like how we can copy in case if we have files of different file format. In this video, we are going to see how to do it. We have created this Azure Data Factory in our earlier video. If you don't know how to create Azure Data Factory, please watch my introduction video about ADF. I'll be providing the URL in the description as well. And I have created one storage account. And here I created two containers, one for input and one for output. In the input container, if you see, I have uploaded files of various format, zip, CSV, PNG and PDF. So all these files we are going to copy from this input container and we are going to place it in the output container. Basically the copy activity going to happen between input and output container. The first and foremost step in Azure Data Factory is to create a link to the storage account which we have created so that we can interact with the storage account. Go to manage. So under manage you will have a linked service just click on new and here we need to connect with azure storage blob so just select azure blob storage and click on continue and here provide a nice name to the linked service and if you want to provide description also you can provide it below and here we need to select our integration runtime and authentication type we have already seen about SaaS and all uh, we are currently going with account key, which is a simple one. And here I'm not going with keyword directly. I'm going to uh, connect with the constant string. And here from the drop down, I'm selecting the storage account. And let me test the connection. The connection is successful. Just click on create. Now we need to create data set. In order to create a data set, just click on the author icon. And here we need to create a data set for input as well as output container. So here select for storage blob and this is the main part which we are talking about. In our earlier video we have selected Excel and CSV as a file format. But in this current scenario we need to copy files of different file format. So we need to select binary and click on continue. Provide a name to the data set and from this drop down select the linked service which we have created and in the file path let us select our container using browse option so here select the input container and we are able to see all these files just click on ok yeah everything looks good now click on ok now we need to create one more data set for our output container as well so let me create a data set the output files are going to get placed inside the blob only so select the blob and same binary the output files also binary so now here we need to provide a name i am providing a name for our output data set and from the linked service same blob only so i am just selecting the same linked service and under browse option i am selecting output container currently output container is empty so click on ok and that's it we have created two data set one for input container and another for output container both of them are binary now let us click on publish so that we can uh, save those changes now let us proceed to create a new pipeline so that we can add our copy activity so let us provide a name to our pipeline and then let us minimize this let me search for copy activity let me drag and drop and under this we can uh, change the name of the activity 
and you could provide description as well and here we have timeout so in case if it if the copy activity is running beyond this the activity will stop in case if it got failed how many times do we need to retry so that you can specify in an interval of what so those two option is available there and from the source select the input container and here in the file path type leave it as file path in the data set or you could select wildcard path as well but you shouldn't provide any values inside this as of now it is better to go with file path in the data set that is the best way to do now sync sync means destination select the output container which is our destination and if you see here mapping is disabled in our last video since we have selected excel as uh, the data set we were able to access this mapping uh, tab and we added additional column as well but for this since we are dealing with various uh, file format it doesn't make any sense for mapping the columns or adding new column because pdf or zip file there is no such concept as columns so that is the reason if we select binary this mapping tab will be disabled and that's it we are good to test our data factory flow just click on debug in on to test out so it will run for a while let's wait for completion it got completed now let us see in our output container just navigate to output container here we are able to see all the files were copied here successfully and that's it on this scenario i started publishing courses in udemy as well as of now i have posted only one course which is a practice test for az204 certification do expect more uh, courses in upcoming days i request you to subscribe my channel i will be providing the url for linkedin and udemy in the video description thank you bye bye